injuries sometimes give them. Um, obviously, the later the game goes on, the more the tired players will suffer, and the more advantage the better players will be able to take. Sabal to Lakatouche, great chance for Romania. Lakatouche, 1 0 Romania. With four minutes left in the first half, and the golden boy of Romanian football has scored. Much to the delight of those travelling fans. Marius Lakatouche, in his 39th international, cutting in from the right, fired that it's a near post goal, and Dasayev may look at himself, I don't know, highly rated goalkeeper, but it's power, isn't it, really? He's already going the wrong way. And Lakatouche, number seven, has put the Romanians, who began this match really as the outsiders, into the lead here just before half-time. And the Soviets, having brought three saves from the keeper at the other end, now see their own veteran beaten inside his near post. They won't be happy about that. And uh, the person who will be is Lakatius, this laid-back striker, who himself is with Stoya Bucharest at present, but may not be for much longer. He scores the opening goal. And there goes Lakatus again, and the play is sweeping from end-to-end. -end. Handball, Kidia Tulin. Question of whether it was inside or not. The referee was a long, long way back, and he's come running forward, and he has given a penalty kick against Kidia Tulin for hands. And the big number three, that was outside, in my opinion. I think the referee is wrong, and I'm surprised his linesman didn't correct him. I don't think the linesman did anything at all. And I think I may be corrected, but I rather think the Soviets have been hard done by there. Desayev spoke to the referee, but he's got to be careful about not disagreeing for too long. It's a penalty, and Lakatouche takes them for Romania. I saw him score one in Brussels the other day. Can he make it 2-0 here? It's 2-0 Romania. 54 minutes. Marius Lakatouche from the spot. But controversy, Bobby Charlton, about the award. Yes, uh, it's a penalty, a good penalty, but nevertheless a very fortunate one. I thought it was just outside the box. But it was really the reward for some really good forward running by the, the forward players, Radachoyu and Lakatush, because the Soviets had to go forward. They're a goal, they were a goal behind and they've left spaces at the back. And these two young players, number seven, Lakatush, number 14, Radachoyu, very, very pacey, and they've been supplied with really good balls, and that's what caused uh, Kidia Tulin to be able to have to give that, uh, as it turns out, a penalty which we thought was a free kick. But nevertheless, it looks hard luck.